Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. Today I'm going to be working on another bingo challenge. And this week's bingo, um, this is a challenge I should say that is at Junk Journalers for Beginner, for Beginners by a Beginner. And <coughs> they post bingo every Friday and then you post that you would like numbers and then you make your project. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So yesterday, my numbers were um, 13, journal card, 8 is a bow, 15 is a rectangle, and 2 is beads or gems. Ah! I forgot that. <laughs> Let me grab those. Just a moment. <laughs> handy dandy suitcase that is full of gems. I like to buy these little travel cases like women use. I think they called them train case. I don't know but um, get them really cheap and um, I like to buy them to put different things in. So that one has all my bling in it. Okay now I, thought I, had, I do have a bow. Okay all right. <laughs> forgot all about the bling. So this is the book that I put my stuff in and uh, this week it's barely going to fit in there but I think it'll be okay. It's gonna be like this. I think that'll be fine because I recently got this die cut set and I absolutely love it and have been really wanting to use it. Just a moment. Everything's falling. I should probably start this all over the way I've been acting here. <laughs> okay, so um, I really wanted to use it. It comes with this tag, and then you've got your interior tag that goes with it. And then, oops, my dies that I had setting off to the side that I might use attach themselves to my magnetic tray. Um, It also comes with this die, which, okay, you got this die too. It's got three slots in it, and this will fit in there. If you cut this, you could have three of these sticking up out of it, but um, I needed a rectangle, not a tag, so I, I uh, got out these dies that I had to cut my rectangles. Um, then it's got some scallops. And this little closure thing. It's got some hearts. And I think, I think that's all that that one has. And these are my mushroom dies. I've already got my mushrooms cut out. So I've got everything cut out. This thing kind of poses a little bit of a problem. I will show you. Here, we'll get this going and I will show you. Um, the paper that I'm using, oh, I just got hot glue all over it. I got it underneath my glue gun. Is the stack formal or floral farmhouse? It's got real pretty uh, pages in it. So, and that's from Hobby Lobby. So that's what I'm using today. So we'll start putting this together. Put all my dies off to the side here. Ugh. I have so much stuff out for this one that it's kind of a mess. All right, and I may have to cut some flowers. I don't know, so I just set those out. Um, this is the back that I'm going to use, but I'm not putting it on yet. I've already put it on my card, but um, the back of my tag, see it gets dirty while I'm working. Not dirty, but inky while I'm working. And so I'm saving this to put on after um, we've got this done. So the first thing is this is going to go on here, but I think I better get the pocket figured out before I glue it on. Okay, this is actually wider than this. But the problem is that when you put these in here, well, that looks silly. 
I can't figure out how it really is supposed to work. So what I'm going to do, I got the scrap from this, this exact width, and I'm going to glue it on to here and make a pocket. That's what I'm going to do. I want this to be about up here, I think. No, I think I decided here, but I don't have it. Let me see. It has to be long enough for these to go down underneath. And then I have to have enough room. Okay, that's about right, right there. Okay, so we're going to glue it down right here. And I think I will put a little pencil mark here where I want it so I know this is where I want it. And we'll get some glue on here. I can only glue the bottom and the sides. No, I can't glue the bottom. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. No. No, I can't glue the bottom. <laughs> what am I thinking? But I can glue the top because I'm not going to put anything behind the top. So we'll go ahead and we'll put glue there. And then let's try. This straight, I'm going to go on that dotted line right there. I think it needs to try and make it even on the sides, and then I'm going to cut it off because I really don't want it hanging out over the edge. So we're going to cut that off. I'm using Scorch Timber Oxide today. All right. Then I will cut this off. here. No, I want to go up some. Glue it. So this, I need to cut it down, don't I? I should have done that before I cut the top off, and then I would know I had it exactly right. But well, I didn't think that through. <laughs> that so we're going to turn it around. I want it to look like it's just part of the tag that's already there. Okay so we will glue here here and down here and I guess I need to cut this off again. i tell you lately guys I have not been using my brain. <coughs> Too much night quill and day quill I guess. center because it's got to have the tags going down in it. I got glitter in there. I haven't even been using glitter. 
Glitter does last forever, doesn't it? <laughs> it might be a hair too big, too wide. But we can take care of that. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and ink around it. scallop which is not long enough to go all the way across <laughs> so we're going to make it work and I don't know if I just want to butt it up or I want to do well, I can't do that okay so I'm just going to butt it up there all right hmm. the best way to glue this I don't know I guess I'll try this one Saturday. I hope that you all are having a good day, whatever day you are watching this. I have my tweezers out. There they are. To get it completely even, I'm putting the bottom bottom of this up against this so that will keep it nice and straight there and then this one I only need to go I'm gonna cut this off right there because no reason to sit here and glue all that It does show a little bit that I've done something there, but it's not enough that it's going to bug me. Grab these since there was still glue on there. All right, now, hopefully, these. Oh, I thought I did something bad. Why isn't it going? <laughs> Hopefully these will go down in the pockets like this. Oops, like this. I think I would have them like that. Something like that. Okay. So now we'll glue this onto here. Gotta get it pretty straight for the next part to work. Right, I think. Okay, then this thing, I like this little thing. It folds like this and goes right there. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know why I'm using that glue. so I could move it once I got it on here and get it perfectly on that circle. 
or as perfectly as I can. Then it comes with two little, um, or with little, little rings. It comes with a bigger one and a smaller one. So you've got one for each tag that you can cut. So that's pretty cool. It is a lot um, bigger. I thought I'd be able to use it on all of my tags, but it's a lot bigger. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a bigger hole in it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to put that one on yet. And oh, poo. I shouldn't have put that down yet because I want that on. We're going to leave that hanging up in the air because we want that on the back tag when we're done. So I'll put this back up here. Okay. So then what I thought, I cut some mushrooms. This is another new um, guy that I got was these mushrooms. I was wanting to use my new stuff. And I thought I would put them like that. And I want to stamp this. This is the specimen from um, the Tim Holtz, I don't know, specimen. I don't know what it's called. Field notes. Field notes. I think that's the one I want. I'm going to put it right there. So we're going to stamp it. I just got my stamps. We're going to stamp it on this leftover paper. I think there's less of this on here, so we'll use that one in case I need a bigger piece for something else. So we're going to stamp it right here, I think. I can just tear this top off and I'll stop getting in my way. We'll use my brown sugar for that. I think. Maybe we should use black. We'll use black because I want it to show up. I just have to find my little black one. There it is, right there. look good in a dark green too. I didn't even think of that, but I'm not even sure I have a dark green ink pad. As dark as I'm thinking. Okay, I'm going to put this right side up right here. Okay, let me get some glue on that. Okay, then I think I want to glue down the littler ones first so that they are under, so that I have them matching right here. I want that to, I'm going to use my tweezers for this. <laughs> this isn't tiny. These are such cute dyes. I'm so glad. There's one more mushroom dye that comes with it, but I only wanted three on this project. But they are so cute. Oops, I got glue. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one. I'll go ahead and There, now if I put that over, it looks like they're both 
underneath there, the stems, you know, it looks, I think it looks neater. I kind of really like that lace on top, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, now the only thing I wonder is if I need something up here, and maybe we could just use one of the field note stamps up there. Let's see what we got here. I can't remember. <laughs> I took mine out of the little thing because they kept falling, and I was afraid I was going to lose them. So I have them in this little bag. And those are ones that I've stamped. good there except it's not the same but it doesn't have to be I kind of like that there we have a label or I mean a number it's got a number book number I really like that long though here maybe this one no Good. A receipt or a figure number. Figure number and then receipt. Oops, I have a receipt done. This one could go here, this one could go there. And then I could stamp on top of all of it with these. I like that. I don't know what you guys think, but I like it. Yeah, no, I don't know. I should probably stamp something down here. Book number. Book number could go there or number. Go another figure. Like the figure. Okay, let's get these down. Put ink around these. I'm still trying to decide if I should stamp them on that. Should I do that? Oh, I need to because these are different color. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, let's do that. I was trying not to cut out a circle. <laughs> I may have a circle punch the right size. Let's see. It's not supposed to. It looks like it's not supposed to. Okay, let me grab my circle punches. I'll try the one that's easiest first to get to. Oops. Let's see if either one of these fit the big one. really good. Um, so I'm going to have to cut this one out of there or it's going to punch that too. That fits good. I wonder, uh, I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. I look at my gosh, I know I have scrap paper in here. Because I'm afraid that it'll just smush it down in there and it won't punch it good because it's such thin paper. It's open. Okay. So we'll put this in here with it. Hopefully. Hopefully that will help it to punch correctly. Oh, I moved it. I moved it when I stood up. I 
There we go. There's that one. Now, what do I do with the little one that I cut off? There it is. Oh, that's too big. I know that's too big. I might have to cut that one out because I don't want to spend forever looking for a punch. I don't have a very good solution for my punch storage, and so it makes it hard to just grab a punch. Oops, that one looks okay. It's kind of big, but I think it's okay. Oh, should I have something with it? Probably should. Because I'm trying to hang on to both of them. that one a little. One side has more around it than the other, but I think it's fine. It's not going to hurt anything, right? <laughs> okay. I need a drink. My voice is cracking. a second to dry and we'll stamp this one. Do book number just because I feel like that needs a little bit of something right there. Now I feel like that and that. Oh, you could keep going, huh? But I don't. Put filed right there, and then that'll be it. Now we need to put the back on here. And the way I did the back is I um, die cut on this side of the paper. That way it was the mirror image. Now I'm going to get the main part of this on and then I'll come back and put those, do those little scallops. Oh. I think my glue would dry if I tried to put on all those little scallops before I got it all glued down. So then I just got to try to get this all matched up before it dries. Ah. Seems like I get it matched up up here, and then it's not quite matched up down here. Eh. 
Yeah, now it's wrong up here. Okay. That'll, oh, look how bad it is right there. I don't understand how I can have it matched up on one side and not the other. I don't know, but I don't like this. We're going to give this one more try. <laughs> I think the best thing to do is do it slowly, probably. Start at the top. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start up here. Put this part down. Understand what is happening here. I cannot figure this out. Look how crooked it is down here. And I've got it matched up very good up here. I don't get it. Ow, that glue is really stinging. My, I got a cut on my hand and it's really stinging. I keep thinking, well, what is going on? Why? Why is this hurting? Then I realized. See, look, it's like it's, I don't get it, because I can't get it to be everywhere, like this is all good, this is not, that's not good right there. I don't get what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, that needs to be right there. But then, when I get that exactly where it needs to be, I've got all that right there. It's like crooked then. And I can't get it straightened up if I leave it there. It mark it takes that off. I guess it's going to have to be off in that one spot because... This is frustrating. I don't know. I don't quite understand. It should be an exact mirror image. <laughs> okay, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to do some trimming here. Because I don't know what else to do. I feel silly. I can't get this lined up. It's not lined up on this side. Okay, somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I can't, I can't do this. This is wrong. And now I've torn the whole thing up. Okay, we're going to choose one of the papers out of here to put back there. And maybe if it's a cardstock, it'll work. 
Let's put this one. I'll put that one back there. That you can um, journal on that. Where's my die? I thought we were about done here. Okay, my die is. It needs to be four and three quarters wide for me to cut this. I'm going to do this side because that's kind of bent up there where it came out of the pad. And I don't need the edges, so. Okay, I'll be right back. Wrong die. if it lays better being cardstock. No. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, it's like stacking two of these on top of each other, right? Look, if I put it on this side, it's all lined up perfectly. So why can't I put it on the back like this? <laughs> okay, we're going to try it. I mean, at this point, it's got to have something on the back. I can't believe how bad that glue burns when it gets in your store. That's crazy. Hmm. It's not going to line up right. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand this at all. Okay, I'm just going to trim right here. I'm going to trim this off. Ah, I did it bad. Oh well, it's not going to show. Did a bad job of it, but it's not going to show because that little thing is going to cover it up. That little flippy flappy thing. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, this is driving me mad. good enough. It's not quite right, but it'll be okay. Oh, I don't have those glued down. I will do that after because you have sat and watched me fiddle with this for way too long. If there's still anybody here, I'm going to leave that.
All right, so now we're going to close this. I guess I should have um, glued two pieces of paper together and die cut it. That's the only way I know to think that it might work is to glue them together and die cut it. But I'm too far into this to start over. It's just not quite right. Oh, this is going to bug me. I mean, it's too cute for it to not finish out right, you know? At least it's only going in my journal. I guess there's that. It's not like I want to send this to somebody. I keep messing it up or something. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, now we need to pick out what we're going to use for making our ribbon at the top. I have my handy dandy container here. brown might look really good. Yep, that's it. That didn't take me long. Thank goodness, sometimes I mess around too long in this thing. It would help if it wasn't a total mess, but ever since it got dumped, I haven't cared. <laughs> That way I don't need to put two knots and it won't be as bulky as if I had two knots. Okay, now I'll get my trimmer and I'll put it on this mess of a desk I have and try to get my bow made and try to do it where you can see it. So I think I want it to be that far apart. And so we take this and wrap it around like this and pull it under. Uh, is that big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. With this kind of stuff, if I do it much bigger, it gets really floppy. And it doesn't look very pretty. Okay. Oops, that came apart. straighten it out a little bit. I guess it's not going to straighten out. Okay. It's because it's all curled up. Can't have it both ways, I guess. Straight and curled. Now, I think I want these to be a lot shorter than I thought I was going to want them. Now, we got to do bling, don't we? Was at the last minute. Let's figure out bling. <laughs> Where'd I put my bling? 
because I just about forgot it until I thought that needs something on top of it and I thought oh yeah it needs some bling up there because <laughs> that's part of it um, let me see what do I have in here I think that might be just right it's a little big but I think it's pretty good I mean the color I like I don't know if I have any smaller I will put this up there to look but man I've got that all so covered that I can't really put anything else I can't really get anything else up there this one is really pretty let's see about this Oh, I like that one a lot. That's the one. And I don't really have any of that color on here. Anything else but in the papers. So, um, let's see. It matches. That looks really good. I like that. Okay, we're going to use that. I need to glue it, though, because I'm sure that the... It was laying loose in there, so I'm sh very sure that the glue would not last very long. We'll see if I can do this without hurting myself too bad. I didn't get glue on me at all. Okay. <laughs> I got hickory at the end, didn't I? <laughs> I have um, journaling cards. I have three journaling cards in here. And I kind of wish I would have made them all the same size. I may go back and do that because I kind of, I thought I would like having a little bit different, but I'm not sure that I do. So that may change. You may see that in the picture. I've got the bow, the rectangles, and a gym. So I'm going to pull this up so that you can see it. Aren't those mushrooms just so cute? I love it. Thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.